kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 2 of my video series on PHP MySQL using Android Studio and Volley Library so in this video I will teach you how to connect your Android app with the, your web server that is hosted on the local host and I will show you how to do that with the help of Volley Library so let's get started so first of all go to your android manifest and make sure that you have the internet permission here after that you go to build.gradle and here integrate the volley dependency that is com.android.volley uh, semicolon volley 1.1.0 then click on sync now so it will uh, add the volley library to our project and after that uh, as I can show you that you need to go to your C drive then go to vamp64 and then here you need to go to uh, www okay so this is your web server uh, folder directory so here you can create your projects inside this directory and okay so okay so what you need to do is after you integrate your volley library let's have a uh, the main screen which will have a button so because we just want to connect to our web server on click of a button so here we can have the button as you can see then we can have a, a separate method for the button click so we can say public void button click and inside this button what we need to do is first of all we need to use volley to connect to the, our uh, URL so first of all we can say uh, string URL equal to and our URL will be http slash 192 and for that in order to use your uh, IP address go to cmd command prompt and write IP config and then you, you can see I have the IP address as 192.168.10.6 so here I can say 192.168.10.6 slash my project slash check connection dot php alright so now we need to create this my project directory and then we need to create this check connection class so for that let's add here the project and it will be my project and inside this uh, folder we need to create a new file and let's open it and let's write the file for the PHP and it will just uh, connect to our uh, database and check if it is uh, um, connected or not so here we can have the PHP and the syntax the syntax of syntax of PHP is here we can say php then we need to have some variables so first of all we will have database name and in my case our, our database name is user db then we will have a user username and it will be root and the password is empty alright and here we can have a cone variable and what it can we can say we can say my sqli slash connect and here we can say localhost 
then we will have the username then we have the password and finally we have the db name alright and here we can check if connection is true then what we can do we can print a message echo connection is successful connected to server alright and inside this else part we can print the message could not connect to the server try again later alright then we can close this so we can write this alright then we can save uh, we can save it and make sure to select this all files and inside this we can say check connection dot php click okay and there you there you can see we uh, we have the file that is php all right this one all right so if i what we can do let's just write here uh, or we can say local host slash my project slash check connection dot php and there you can see connection is successful connected to server so we can do this with uh, inside our android project so after we specify the url all we have to do is we first of all need to use the request queue so we can say request queue and we can name it as queue then we can say queue equal to volley dot new request queue and inside this uh, we can just pass this reference and after that we can we need to have a string request so we can say string request equal to new string request and inside this first of all we will specify the, the method either it is uh, get or post and we can since we have only get because we are just uh, getting the value so we can say request dot method dot get all right then the second one is the url and the third one is new response uh, callback and here we have new response on error listener okay so inside our own error uh, response method we first of all need to print the message like if there is an, any error and we can say error dot get message then we can print it then inside our own response method if the response is successful so we can just uh, display the response so here we can say toast and response response from server and here we can just print the response and that's it and finally we can just add the queue uh, add the request to our queue so we can just say queue dot add and inside that we can just pass string request all right so that is it this is the way of connecting your uh, your web server with the help of volley library so i will just write copy and here we can have on click method button click and let me open the sightseeing app so here i have i am going to open the sightseeing I have connected my phone okay so it is uh, it is now connected and let's 
run our app and let's see if we are successfully connected to our web server or not Okay, so now our application is running. If I click on this button, so there you can see there is an error. And let me see what is the error here. Okay, I think uh, I cannot connect it. I have a, a firewall problem, so I will. We need to disable our uh, firewall. Okay, so we need to switch turn off our uh, firewall here, and. Okay, so let me first of all try to access my web server. So here we are here and we can write 192.168.10.6 slash or we just open it. Okay, so yes, we are not able to open our local host. Okay guys, so the problem was that I was uh, using my 4G network, so that's why it was not working. So when I switched to my local host uh, Wi-Fi router, so it uh, there was the problem was solved. So if I open it now and if I click on check, so there you can see response from server connection is successful connected to server. All right and also if we open uh, our project uh, or i mean we open our uh, web server and here we can say dot six and there you can see we can open it all right guys so i hope that you have learned something like how to connect your web server with the help of volley library in your android project so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye